Texas Artifacts of Mars. And somehow this doesn't surprise me any. What's happening is that the leftists are attempting to steal the election through the Electoral College. And for those of you who aren't exactly familiar, we don't directly vote for a candidate. In other words, when I cast my vote for Donald Trump, I didn't vote directly for Donald Trump. I voted for electors. That's the way an election work, presidential election works. You vote for electors, and then the electors are supposed to cast their votes for uh, the president. This year is December 19th, and they're going to do this. And what's happening is moveon.org and change.org are attempting to steal the election because they're uh, passing around the petition, getting people to sign a petition saying that they want Hillary Clinton to be elected, even though Trump won. 290 electors and electoral needs to win the election. Uh, this is International Business Times UK. I don't think it has a real, realistic chance of succeeding. History and public policy professor Alex Kesar of Harvard University told IB Times UK. Kesar did see, however, that the premise behind the petition was correct. Electors have the constitutional power to decide to vote for hologram Hillary over Donald Trump if they wanted to. You see, technically, they're not bound, uh, they're not bound legally to vote for the designated candidate. KSR said, barring some un very unusual development between now and when the electors meet, it's unlikely the Republican electors will go rogue on their party. He told IBT Times uh, UK that electors who either had Democratic convictions or questions about Trump could be swayed by the fact that Clinton won the popular vote. Professor said it would not shock him if one or two of the electors did the fact that would surprise him. That's just kind of contradictory. It would shock me if 25 did that, he added. For those hoping to get rid of the electoral college altogether, there have been multiple attempts to do that throughout history. Case I knows the most recent attempts to abolish the electoral college was a 1969 amendment that passed the House of Re Representatives. Pro proposal was killed by filibuster in the following year in the Senate. So, we're going to, I'm going to show you uh, change.org and move on.org just so, you know, these people won't give up. They're trying to steal the election. Now, yeah, even if Hillary won the popular vote. If you look at the election map, uh, she lost most of the states. It, see, it isn't based on the popular vote. It's based on electors that we elect, and then the electors do the electors vote for the president. That's, you know, we were born into that system, so you have to live with it. Here's uh, the wacko site change.org on December 19th electors electoral college will cast their ballots. If they all vote the way their states will, Donald Trump will win. However, they can vote for Hillary Clinton if they choose. Even if in states where that is not allowed, the vote will be counted still. There's simply pay a small fine, which we can be sure Clinton supporters will be glad to pay. 
how lovely that you uh, decide how others will spend their money. And they give the usual left-wing drivel of why Trump is, they say Trump is unfit to serve. I am so tired of these animals acting like this. I'm sorry, I'm calling them animals. That's not being very kind to animals either. Hillary Clinton won the popular vote. The only reason Trump won is because of Electoral College. Well, at least in that, they're correct. But too bad. That's the way the system works. We were born into it. All of us. And next time, if it comes up, is PJ Media. MoveOn.org, Change.org, same shit. And they're basically talking about the same thing. You won the Electoral College. That should be it. I'm sick and tired of these scumbags trying to steal the election. They really are trying, they're trying to nullify the election. And... It's, it's just infuriating. They have no right. They're uh, crazier than loons. This is why we have the mental disorder of liberalism. Because liberalism is a mental disorder. Here they are. They want to steal the election. For the second time in 16 years, presidential candidate with fewer votes won the national election. This is due to the Electoral College, wrote Thomas Reich, petition's author. When an anti-democratic candidate wins without national popular support in conjunction with authoritarian tendencies, it's incumbent on the Electoral College to decide if said candidate is a threat to the democracy. No, it isn't. That is a lie. That is bullshit. That is a lie. I encourage them to consider this issue seriously before casting their votes for Donald Trump. Well, you can get bent. I'm tired of this. I'm sorry. You won. You're going to have to live with it. Hopefully he'll do what he said he is going to do. If he don't, then he'll get thrown out, get his ass thrown out in the next election. But we gotta give him a chance to do what he said he's gonna do. And I believe he will. Or I would have never voted for him. Wouldn't have voted for Hologram Hillary either. That is a contemptible piece of garbage. I'm Artifacts of Mars. Thanks for watching. Hopefully, these idiots. They're saying it's not going to go anywhere. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.